Hey guys, it's Desiree. If you're new to my channel, welcome back. If you're returning, nope. Hey guys, it's Desiree. If you're new, welcome to my channel. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. I appreciate each and every one of you. Today's video is a day in my life vlog. I haven't filmed one of these in a little while. Um, it is currently 11.22 a.m. and it is Tuesday, June 7th. So it is the second day of the week. I'm hoping to make today a really productive day. Um, I tried to do a Sunday reset this Sunday and it like didn't really work that well. So there's still like a lot just like, and then like Monday I didn't really do much. Um, so there's just a lot of like different things I want to get done. So I'm hoping that we can do that today. I did stay in bed late, um, but we're awake now. So first things first, we're going to go make some lunch and uh, get me all fueled up. And then we can start doing some different things. And I'm hoping that vlogging this will keep me accountable. So that's the hope and that I am productive today. So like I said, let's go make some lunch. So first of all, it's a cloudy day today. I don't like cloudy day. I don't like cloudy days because um, they don't like motivate me at all. It's not too bad, like it's fairly sunny. It just like could be sunnier. Also my allergies are not good to very congested. Okay, so I don't really know what I want for lunch today. Um, there's like a bagel bite shortage in my town or something, which I've talked about before, but it's like legit now because it has been months and very rarely can I find bagel bites. And when I do, I find like three boxes on the shelf and that is it. So that is super, super sad for me because that's like my favorite thing to eat for lunch. Um, I was going to make Annie's, but the pot I like to use is in the sink. And I don't really like want Annie's. I was just going to make it to make it. So I'm thinking maybe I'll just make a grilled cheese because it's fast. Actually, I'm kidding. <laughs> we have no cheese. So I'm also not having grilled cheese. So my options are getting slimmer by the minute. I think I'm going to have progies maybe then because it's easy and I know we have them. Hi buddy. You shouldn't be on the counter. You know the rules. Okay, I think I'm going to have these progies. These were on sale at Costco the other day. These are Pelman Foods Progies. They had a bunch of different flavors, a bunch of different kinds, and they were on sale four bags for $15, I think. Um, so I got uh, four different kinds. This one's the potato with roasted garlic and herb. I have not tried this one yet, so I figured I'd give it a try today. I'm gonna start by boiling them until they're like floating or until like the dough is soft, and then I'm gonna fry them up in a frying pan. So something very excited, ha exciting, oh my God, I can't talk happened only sleeping which is my wattpad book for those who are not aware hit 1 million reads it is crazy to me that a million people have read my book like it doesn't even seem real i don't actually think i've like fully comprehended it because it just doesn't like i don't know a million people in my brain i'm like that it's fine but it's not like that's exciting um so that's craziness if you guys haven't heard about my book i'll take or I'll put one of my videos in the iCards that um, kind of talks more about my book and my experience as an author and as like or as a Wattpad author. Um, it's just crazy to me that something I wrote has had so many people like take a chance to, on it and read it. And um, I mean, it's all thanks to my readers that I even ever finished a book and that I'm writing books like I am. So I'm so so thankful for all of my readers. Craziness, absolute craziness. And I wanted to share that with you guys. While I wait for those to boil, I'm gonna put dishes away. Okay, 
so I just finished eating lunch and I honestly think I'm gonna clean up the fridge which is super random and a little ambitious of me but I just feel like it'll help my mom out and it's a little uh disorganized like, but I'm trying to decide if I want to make these like cake brownie things I was going to and I was gonna like take a picture of them to like celebrate a million reads but now I feel like it's too far after the fact and I just don't know if I want to put in all the work to make these so I don't think I'm going to maybe I will later I don't know I don't know I really don't and I also need to figure out what I'm posting on Instagram I think I'm gonna post some photos I already have like ready to go no, right now we're gonna clean out the fridge so let's do it okay so I'm sitting at my desk right now I'm trying to get like a more like to-do list together also I'm trying to figure out what content I need to create so that's what I'm doing right now and I have a list of brands I wanted to reach out to uh, via DM so I'm gonna do that real quick it's a really long process of me just sitting there but anyway um, I'm gonna update my content creator my content to create list I have to create content for body blends today also, Yummy Bear. I'm gonna shoot some content. We're shooting for body blends today. I am like the worst influencer when it comes to like knowing my worth and like negotiating with brands because I just like do not do it. I'm like, oh, you wanna send me free product? That is so nice of you. I will take, frankly, whatever you will give me. And what ends up happening is I get situations like this where I reached out to body blends and they offered to send me gifted product, which was super nice of them, but they offered to send me one product, so they sent me this. And there's nothing wrong with this, but they requested that I do two in-feed posts for just this product and no payment. And like I said, that's entirely my fault because I didn't try to negotiate at all. Um, but I, if you are like a small influencer, um, just so you know, that's not a good deal. We do want this in the picture. So, my plan is to have this right here, make it all cute and nice, but I'm going to be in the picture. I'm going to put a little heart on my butt cheek <laughs> with the body scrub. That's my plan. I don't know if this is going to work out. Oh my god, why is this so much harder than I thought it was going to be? Oh my god, I'm struggling. Wait, oh my god. But if I stand this way, I should have put it on this side. I'm struggling. Let's try to do this again on the other side. Oh, I almost fell out of my tub. Okay, I think we can make these work. Because this is a lot for me. And now there's, it smells like coffee. To be fair, I'm not a fan. And now we're done shooting this, so it can just stay in the bathroom. It's not going to fit in there. It's going to stay right here. I'm gonna edit that content, which I don't normally do right away, but I am today because that content has to go up tomorrow. So let's do it. Okay, um, I'm in a different outfit, as you can see, because I'm shooting content for Parade, the Parade X SE collaboration right now. So I was on FaceTime with Erin, which is why I did not vlog, but I took my little Parade nail polishes and I just painted this Rubik's Cube with the three colors. This is the outfit I'm wearing. I'll show you. So this is the Parade XSE um, top and bottoms. It's this bralette. It has yellow straps, blue right here, purple, pink, yellow, yellow, pink, blue, purple. It is so cute. It's probably my favorite thing I've ever gotten from Parade. And then I just put this white little like men's dress shirt over it. And I feel like it's super cute. I'm really excited about these photos. So I'm gonna go change now and then we're gonna see what the next brand I need to shoot for is and we'll see if I can do three brands today because that would be super, super awesome. But yeah, that's what's happening. I'm in my kitchen now. I decided to make these brownies. They're like cookie dough brownies. I don't know, but I decided to make them because I'm hungry, so yeah. So I shot two brand content today 
and I'm gonna shoot another one when I'm once I get these in the oven. So it's just to soften the butter. I do not have soft butter, nor do I have time to soften butter. And we're just going to use the hard butter. Okay, so this is the cookie dough. It's chocolate chip cookie mix with sprinkles. I'm a big sprinkle person, so I'm quite excited. I originally bought these to like make for my birthday and I didn't. I'm actually, I might put the butter in the microwave just because I want it to. Oh, mother trucker. I'm gonna pop the butter in the microwave and just hope it softens. Oh, I don't need another egg. Oh, okay, I don't need another egg. I need two tablespoons of water. Okay, now it's like half melted, half softened, but it'll have to do. There, all right, let's mix this. This cookie dough smells really weird, and I don't know how I feel about it. Oh, this is sticking to me. They're very wet. Mm, kind of weird. All right, let's pop these in the oven. Okay, we got a timer set for half an hour. Let's get some more stuff done off my to-do list. The next thing I want to get done is shooting some content for Yummy Bear. Yummy Bear is a brand that I work with monthly, and I'm really, really bad at making posts for them. So, like, that's not cool. But I'm thinking I'll go make a post. I'm thinking outdoorsy, like kind of picnicy vibes. But I haven't decided. Like maybe just like on the grass could be cute. I'm gonna grab maybe like a notebook and these, and we'll maybe we'll put them on the grass and just kind of like like maybe airpods kind of like chill day essentials i don't know we're gonna get out there and see maybe a jean jacket could be cute it's really nice out now so that's good let me show you the setup i feel like it's really hard to see because it's so bright but it's cute so i feel like these are really cute um and i feel like we're good like without me being in them so that's good 10 out of 10 guys um, let's head back inside and edit those. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely refuse to have to make two trips when I'm shooting content outside. So I just literally carry everything like this. Like I utilize everything I can so that I only have to make one trip. So I've yet to make a to-do list, but I'm going to make one real quick. Because A, one of my favorite things to do is cross stuff off my to-do list. But B, um, there's a few things like this way I can stay on track. Oh my god, I literally have been wanting to film a bake with me. And I just baked and forgot. So we did good on content creation today. Now I'm gonna update my notion while I'm sitting here. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. Well, bad news, forgot I had brownies in the oven. look okay all right turn the oven off most important part all right i'm gonna finish updating my notion let's do it so i finished updating my notion now i think i'm gonna film a video i want to film a bathing suit collection video so i'm gonna go ahead and film that and then i'll update you guys when i'm done hey guys i just finished filming my swimsuit haul or my swimsuit collection video now i'm about to get ready to leave to go to my friend's house for dinner and then like i said we're going to the mall English and then we're going to the mall so I will update you guys when I get home from the mall because I probably won't vlog while I'm there okay guys I just got home from Chris's house um we went to the mall we did all the things and now I'm home um I'm exhausted and it's late it's almost 10 o'clock first of all here's my cat say hello baby she's so beautiful we love her kisses and then this is my other cat say hello so beautiful we love it. oh Oh, yes, give everybody a kiss. There's your kiss goodnight from Teddy. We love him. Okay, I'm going to change outfits now and go to bed. Ready? Three, two, one. All right, guys. <sighs> now I'm ready for bed. I'm in my pajamas. Um, I'm really exhausted, so I cannot wait to go to sleep. And that was today's vlog. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments, and you guys know the drill. Otherwise, I'll see you all next week. Peace out.